I remember talking to you at length about the search for Natalie. And today we hear this confession in this series of facts. It just sounds like garbage to me. It breaks my heart that this is as good as it can get for Beth. But being that you have been there, you have seen the places where he says he did what he did, what are your thoughts about what he's confessed to? My, you know what? There's only one thing that I believe that he confessed to today, and that is that he murdered Natalie, and he murdered her there uh, on the island. You know, on on the beach, and and I truly believe in that area area he's talking about. Again, yeah, you know, I went there nine times. I know that island pretty well. To find a cement block right there close to where all this happened, I'm not going to buy that. And I'm certainly not going to buy the fact that he went out there and basically three feet of the water, put her body in the water, and, and she just drifted away. And, uh, you know, we, we actually took a 135-foot boat from New Iberia, Louisiana, all the way to Aruba Beef. And for the reason is we know that night Natalie disappeared, that fisherman's hut was broken into and the rope and the knife in that big fish trap was stolen. And we always felt as though a strong possibility. Yeah, she's in the water, but in in that big fish trap that was stolen. And for him to say that he walked home when we, he was actually doing that deep water search, a guy came up to us and, and told us a bunch of stories. And 2.08 in the morning, his dog was barking, and he thought somebody was breaking in his house. He looked outside to see this guy walking down the street, and he was pretty muddy. And a guy, uh, older gentleman, drive up with a a red jeep and screaming at him pointing his finger they went the other end of the road turned around went back home and I, many many things i don't want to go into a lot of detail many many things he says was uh too believable and then we asked him if if we could fly him to houston texas give him a polygraph test because he specifically said it was paul vanis that picked your and up uh, he took the polygraph test and he flatlined it everything he said was true I actually went back to Aruba, got with Hans Moss, the prosecutor, and gave him a copy of that polygraph test. And I said, Hans, you know, this guy's went to the authorities. Nobody's talked to him. They won't believe him. And uh, Hans Moss told me in no uncertain terms, number one, we're not going to let some damn hot cowboy run this investigation. I'm sure he was talking about me. He said, we don't have any evidence that you haven't had anything to do with anything. And number three, we don't believe in polygraph tests at Aruba. And uh, and literally threw the polygraph test in the trash in front of me. But but no, I uh, I don't believe the cement block story, and I certainly don't believe the water story. I um, I understand uh, what Beth was saying today, just knowing what happened. She's known for 18 years. Yes, that you're you're, you're mur murdered badly. So for him to confess, I think that that is what she needed to hear. Uh, is there any chance of Natalie ever being found? I don't know. I, I can predict this. I can predict in a very short period of time, uh, your Banner Flute is going to come up with another story and probably find somebody that's going to give him uh, money again because his whole entire history since this has happened, he says different stories. Mm -hmm. Uh, and people paid him for it. So, and for him to, you know, if he is a true social past, true serial killer, well, did he pass the polygraph test? Well, you know, some people pass it when they're uh, some guilty, some people fail it when they're innocent. So, you know, I don't know how much credibility to put into that one, but uh, I was, I think I was myself personally was uh, pretty disappointed on uh, on how that trial went today. Yeah, I feel very, I have very mixed feelings, Tim. I'm with you. My heart breaks for Beth Holloway, given this garbage that Yoren was serving up to everybody. But at the same time, having a final confession that he killed her and that he disposed of her, maybe that's the best it can be at this point. Tim, thank you for your work. Thank you for being dogged about this case. Thank you for your love and your care and your attention to Beth and her family. And thanks for always just, you know, um, coming on this program and telling us like it is. Thank you for this. Well, thank you so much. Tim Miller joining us. Thank you for watching.
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.